Hi guys, Andre from Conveyor Random Listener, and today I'll be unboxing and reviewing this, the Elgato Keylight. Today I get to unbox this, the Elgato Keylight. It comes with the tagline, Illuminate on Command. Elgato, renowned for quality products for content creators from hardware to software, and with this, lighting as well. This is the bigger version of the Keylight, which comes with a clamp, but if you're looking for something with a smaller form factor, you can also get the Keylight Air, which comes with a freestanding base. So let's get over to the unboxing. What you get in the box, is a quick start guide and instructions on this giant piece of card. The power supply with a plug support for all regions. Extendable metal pole stand with a desk clamp. And the key light itself. Assembling the keylight is very straightforward, and the clamp, which is padded on the upper contact surface, can be positioned comfortably on any table and can be expanded up to 6cm or about 2.35 inches. The pole stand can be extended to a maximum height of 125cm from a minimum height of 55cm. The recommended height for use is somewhere in between the middle of those at 90 centimeters. The key light itself is positioned on top of the pole stand on a fully adjustable bore head. And I like that on every border surface there is a screw thread so that you can position the key light in either portrait or landscape position to allow for a user defined suitable lighting position. It has a very convenient on off reset button positioned in easy reach at the back of the light. The light's brightness and color range are fully adjustable via the app with a maximum brightness of 2800 lumens, which is very bright and makes me look like this, to this at its lowest. The color range varies from a winter blue 2900K to a warm glow of 7000K. All customizable actions of the key light happen in the Control Center app, which is available on the App Store, Google Play Store, on Windows 10 and Mac OS. Once you've downloaded the app and switched on the key light, you'll need to follow the simple instructions to connect your key light to your Wi-Fi, followed by the app, and then you're all done. On the control center, not only can you control the brightness and color range of the key light, you're also able to manage multiple key lights simultaneously. So that's the Elgato key light. It reminds me of the floodlights at a sports stadium, which are able to produce those focused beams of light to the stadium floor without that light beam leaking outside of the frame. It's a nice upgrade in my equipment now that it gives me full customizable control of my lighting and moves me from the static, fixed, brightness, space taking softbox that I've been using in my videos up to now. With its flat, space saving and sleek metal design, the Elgato Keylight will raise the standard of any content creation setup for the better. And with its ability to work with other Keylights as well, as other Elgato products like the Stream Deck, it makes for a much more streamlined setup. And if you don't want such a large form factor, then you've still got the Keylight Air and also the Ring Light. Just remember out of the three lights, it will be the key light that has the highest maximum brightness of 2800 lumens. If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to the channel would be greatly appreciated and would help the growth of the channel. And press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all from me today. I will see you on the next one. Bye. Why don't you go and watch one of these two videos here before the time runs out. Three, two, one.